fíjate lejos y mirar atrás No me digas que creíste que esto durará I've always loved being by the ocean, you know, like watching and listening to the waves go in and out. I can watch them for hours on end, and then after sitting and watching them for enough time, I'll think I've understood how they move. But as soon as it comes to trying to draw that image of the ocean and the waves that I had in my head, I'm just completely lost without a 2D reference photo. I spent the day in Vancouver, and once again, I ended up at the ocean. I kind of had to force myself to get out and draw today, but after sitting for a while by the water, I found myself trying to draw the waves once again. And I left with barely even a page of sketches, and just feeling so impressed by artists who illustrated waves before cameras existed, because the ocean is just endlessly complicated to me. But I would love to learn how to capture that movement, and just capture movement and feeling in my art in general, because I feel like that's what separates a drawing from a photograph. I do like how my wave sketches are abstract, and I would like to learn how to combine what I drew downtown with a more realistic ocean scene to create something unique. But for the painting I'm doing right now, I did actually look at a reference photo just to see how that would make the final piece differ from when I'm looking at the actual ocean. Eventually, maybe in another video, I'm gonna try and combine what I can learn from drawing reference photos and looking at the actual movement of the ocean, but that's for another day because today I'm just happy I got up to draw since sometimes getting myself to create can be hard. Oh, God,